Well, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I am recording a late entry into Tassel Tuesday. Yes, it's still Tuesday. Had a busy day. I'm actually training for some work that I'm going to be doing from home on the computer. So that's kind of exciting. Um, but, you know, it's a lot to learn. So... Uh, I'm kind of tired just from being on the computer all day. So what you're looking at is the little um, bits of lace, not lace, ribbon, that I'm going to use um, for my tassel today. And the reason I picked out these colors, now these I got in a recent haul. Uh, but if you'll notice, see this thin organza ribbon? Doesn't it remind you of the ribbon that I just used in my journal that I made for... Um, studio 28e design team project let me bring it and show it to you in case you forgot or didn't see that video so here's the journal that i used uh that kit for that beautiful kit and it's pretty i really like it so there's a lot of uh lavender purple yellow in here green of course so these not a lot of blue but i think yeah maybe i'll skip the blue i don't really see a lot of blue in here um, but definitely some yellow, so I'm going to add this, these here in there. Maybe a tiny bit of pink, we'll see. So I'm going to use some of these to make a tassel to go along with that journal. And let's see how it goes. So, um, let's see. I don't want the tassel to be way too big, so I'm going to measure maybe a length uh, like this approximately the length of the book you know fold it over maybe a little bigger because I might end up trimming some of it so I'm going to cut a few pieces of this now that I have my length let me move this over and just get some more pieces of that same length and I do apologize if I bump the camera every once in a while I have my phone attached to my uh, holder over here very close to to my hands and it's just what you know what works best for me right now and yes this is a little uh what do you call it dinner tray if you will that i am crafting on <laughs> um, because i don't have a permanent craft space in the little apartment that i'm living in now so I have to get creative and I have to make sure I clean up after myself after crafting. It's probably the hardest part. <laughs> oh, I can't just leave stuff lying around even though I end up doing it anyway sometimes. Half the time. Okay, most of the time. <laughs> but then that just means I have to clean before crafting the next time around, right? So ah, that's just the way it goes. Okay. Ooh, I really like this green here it's not a lot of this one so i might want to be a little stingy and you know again i'm working on this little table so i don't have like my measuring uh mat on here so i'm just doing it like this kind of freehand and you know not being that careful because i don't like to be too fussy um just kind of like to wing it most of the time but I do want this to come out really pretty, so, um, because that journal will eventually, hopefully by the end of the week, be in my Etsy shop, and maybe somebody will like it, and I would like them to have a nice tassel to go with it, so, okay, I think three of each of these is good, I could always add more, there's a little bit more if I want to add more, um, okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the yellow next, we like the pretty yellow pin I actually like that pin uh, but this I have some elastic around it okay I like it I like it so let me tuck this in so that I don't pinch myself and let me just pull some of that rib uh, okay I'm gonna measure it against one of the against one of the ribbons and then these are not the best scissors either Oh, yeah, I should have picked some other scissors, but that's okay. 
that's okay that's probably gonna get uh, trimmed and I will probably stop and get nicer scissors before trimming this so let's see sometimes when you have scissors that are not the greatest if you try a different part of the scissors is better like it might not be might be better here in the end or in the you know near the hinge or sometimes not the whole scissor is bad you know but I think I'm gonna have to dump these after all let me try the tip of these scissors yeah this one's pretty bad <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring another one okay so let's see so far just with these nine strands right three of each of these let's see how it's looking and of course I'll rearrange them but again I don't fuss a lot I just kind of you know mess with it <clears throat> excuse me all right so ooh, pretty I think I like it do I want it to be super fluffy or I think I kind of like this not too bad maybe just add a little bit of pink there is a little bit of pink in that journal and this is such a pretty rickrack and it's something different again I have those little these are these little hair ties I don't know if you can even see it you know the little hair ties that you get it at the dollar store for for little tiny ponytails or braids of course it's stretched out because I have it around here but it works really well for holding down my little ribbons so I do use some pins and I do use some of those little rubber bands let's see how much of this I have there's not a lot of it let's see if I have enough for a couple of strands okay so I am just doing this with you and talking through it because I don't expect that it'll take me very long to get this done I hope that is the case uh, okay look at that almost perfect so I'm just gonna actually put this in half and just put these two pieces okay I have to go grab another pair of scissors for sure this this is annoying me now all right I'm gonna pause it just a sec okay these are actually my Westcott Dollar Tree scissors and I also found this um, now I, I probably need to include this in a haul because I haven't shown you guys I picked this up at the Goodwill a few days ago and I've actually not even included it in a haul yet you might see it in this Thursday's <laughs> Thrifty Thursday, but um, I wanted to use it now because it's so pretty. See, it's like nice and sheer and it's yellow. So yeah, I didn't want to wait to use it. So I think I'm going to have three bits of this or three strands of this included in here. And then I also see some lace that I recently got probably with this and it's, it's wider, but I think it'll work. Because I just kind of want some lace in there. Of course, I could have included some of the Dollar Tree lace because I had that in the journal. Probably should have done that, but I don't know where it is right this second. And um, I don't want to get up again. <laughs> yeah, I know how that is. Okay. But look, this is pretty lace. It's white, but I think it'll be okay. I'm going to include maybe couple strands of this what do you think are you saying no coffee diet first I'm just gonna put it I think it's fine let's see maybe just one <laughs> yeah maybe just one just to see and you know what oh look at this not the yellow you already saw that one this um, this is an avocado dyed um, what do you call it trim or lace see how long it is Ooh, about one strand I'm gonna include that yeah I avocado dyed that myself okay so now we have something Ooh, look at that now that's looking nice and interesting I think I'm gonna leave it about there Okay, um, and I am going to try to think. I do have this little ring here. Should I just do it on the ring? My friend Sherry likes to do hers on a ring. Um, let's see. I think I'll just do that. It makes it simple. I think I will do that. Okay. Is that all the way? Nope. 
Nope, nope. There we go. All right. So let me okay straighten this out a little bit. I think I got them pretty even. All right. Fold it in half. I think they're pretty even. Okay. So now what am I going to do for tying it? I think I'm going to use this other ribbon. It's not organza. It's satin, but it's kind of thin. I think I'm going to go ahead and add that one. So I want at least that's that's what the length of the others. I want to add at least one of the length just to make sure that I can go around. And I want to try this trick that I saw in a video. And I want to, oh, I wish I could remember. I will put the link in the description box if I find it. I think I made a note of it. But um, a DIY channel, one, one of the DIYers that does like, you know, Dollar Tree DIYs and stuff that I've watched recently showed how to do, um, you know, a tassel with the knot inside. And I'll show you what I mean if, if I can get it to work. I've been wanting to try it. Um, so that you're not, you know, when you're tying this around, your knot isn't on the outside, but it's on the inside. So let's try it. So first of all, I'm going to leave this long because I want one end to, you know, join the rest of it. And I'm going to start with a loop. So I'll start with a loop, I guess, that way. Okay. If I remember correctly, if not, it'll be a fail. I'll put her video anyway, and you can see the right way to do it. Okay, so you start with a loop, and then you wrap around. I think this is how she did it. You wrap around. Okay. Nice and tight. Okay. Once, as many times as you want. I'm only going to go around two, well, maybe three times. Is that three times? That's enough. And then you put the long end or the, the bottom end of your string through the loop. I think that's what it was, right? And then when you pull it through, tie it. Where's my other end? The knot is supposed to go in the back. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to pull it through to tie it. And look at that. <gasps> Did you see the magic? Did you see it? The knot is inside. But now, of course, I've got this sticking out that side. I should have probably done it the other way. But even so, like this, I like that. So if I had had the loop going started at the bottom, this would have been at the bottom. You know what? Do I want to undo that? I kind of see it up there. Let me try it again. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I definitely want to include her video so you can see what, where I got the idea. Because, you know, I didn't come up with this myself. And sometimes I get ideas and then I forget where I get them from. But if I can, I like to give credit where credit is due. Okay, so let me undo this knot. I'm going to undo the whole thing because I want it to come out the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm going to undo this. And then if I put the loop at the bottom, then maybe, right, it'll end up at the bottom, I hope. <laughs> I'm just going to wrap it around. And you know what? This time I'm going to wrap it around a few more times now that I'm feeling a little bit more confident about that knot. Okay. Okay. Now, where's my loop? Okay, there it is. So now I'm going to put this through the loop. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Right there. Right. And now I'm going to pull both ends. See the magic happen. I hope. <laughs> and it didn't work that time. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try one more time. You see what the difference is? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to get the loop. I guess it has to be if I do it that see, but I don't want my string coming there. All right, maybe I will. Okay, I'll just try it one more time. I have my loop here. Why wouldn't it work that time? Oh. Hmm. Maybe it maybe that's I'm going to have to watch your video myself. Okay. Put it through the loop. And pull the knot. I used too much, too 
too much ribbon anyway. Pull it through the knot and let's see what happens. Yeah, so you know why it didn't work this time? Because, okay, so it's going to be sticking up the top. I don't know how to do it any other way. Um, okay, because it worked that way. When I did it this way, let's see the magic happen again. I'll have one loop coming off the top, but that's not the biggest of issues. I can probably figure out a way to make that work. Okay, so let's try it again. Loop and then around because that was so cool and I'm already 15 minutes agonizing with this I apologize because <laughs> it's already evening on Tuesday and I'm not gonna do any editing I have a little pheasant in the oven that's gonna ding any minute <laughs> so yeah after I'm done here I'm just uploading this so sorry <laughs> All right, there it goes. You see, I went through the loop. Okay, now I'm pulling and pulling and pulling. And look at that. The knot goes in the back. That is so cool. Okay, I like that. But this does come off the top. So what I'm going to do is just fold it over here. Maybe I can find a reason for that to be over the top. I don't know. It's not the It's not the worst thing in the world. What I could probably do is maybe put some beads to make it heavy. So I made the end way too long, but I did cut it at an angle. So I have some beads here because I saw some little uh, lavender purple beads. These are all just glass beads, but see, I, I looked at these that I thought would go well. So maybe I'll put a couple of these in here. I hope it goes through. Okay, and if this doesn't work, I have my other trick. It's going through not long enough okay I have my other trick where do I have it which is to use a little tiny wire ah, I think I had one in here a little wire or you know what even if you don't have a wire oh here it is yeah and this is one of those wires that I, whenever I pull a wired edge ribbon that I don't want the wire in I keep the little wires so that I can use them for this as little needles it's just bent in half you can probably not even see it okay and then just put the ribbon through now the bead hole does have to be you know reasonable I think that should be reasonable okay for the ribbon to go through but this helps it okay and now pull and if I had my pliers it would be better I don't want to get up again. Pull, pull, pull. No, I'm going to have to use my pliers to pull. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this is already going way longer than I wanted to, but we're going to move on. We're going to persevere, and hopefully this wire won't break. <laughs> it broke. Why did I have to say that? Okay. All right, so that's not going to work. The bead hole needs to be bigger. Let's see if there's another, another one with a bigger bead hole. Goodness sake. Okay. Let's see. At this point, it'd be easier to just like. Another thing that you can do is like um, wax it or whatever. But I really like to use the wire, it just makes it so easy. All right. That's not going to happen. How about. <laughs> Let me see if I have some other beads or things in here. Maybe just the white bead. These white beads seem to have big holes. Or here's another piece of wire. Maybe I could just try it again. Okay. This bead is, I think the hole is a little bit bigger on that one. Or this green one has a much bigger hole. Let's see if I can just push it through that one. Let's see. Let's try that. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Well, you know, you can always speed up the video or skip it. 
<laughs> Skip ahead. I'm so sorry. Okay. I want to get at least one beat in here. All right. There we go. Pull it. Gently but firmly. There you go. Okay. So that one is going to be here. It's kind of heavy because it's glass. And I'm actually going to put another one. Let's see if there's another of the purple ones that has a bigger hole. Okay, I'm going to have to hunt for bees when I'm done here. <laughs> These are falling. Oh, look at this one. This one I think is pretty. It's glassy. Okay, glassy and classy. <laughs> All right, let's see. There we go. It's working. Oh, gosh, I'm so glad I got it to work. <laughs> okay. A couple and maybe one more because, you know, we like our odd numbers in our crafting, right? Okay, this white one. Okay. That was a little tighter, but we got it through. And we... And I think these three will weigh this down enough so that it's folded on top. And it's actually looks, it actually looks pretty. Okay. And then I'm just going to tie a knot right here. And that, that should do it. Yeah, to stop them. And then I'm just going to trim the bottom. And I'm going to call this tassel done. I was going to put some, well, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. And I think I'll just attach maybe a butterfly. I had another butterfly on the... Oh, look at this pretty butterfly. Ooh, all the colors. I love it. I think that goes with this one really well. So I'm going to use this ball pin. And just put the butterfly through here. And just attach it there. And check it out. Give the reason kind of another... Uh, give the ribbon another reason to be there. I might have to go this way and there you go yeah look at that okay just one simple a group of beads and you know what after dinner I may add more <laughs> but there's at least one and then this I'm just going to let's see I am going to just chop them I know there's gonna be a lot of uh, seeming waste but you know I'm gonna have to come back and let you know what I do with some of these little pieces when I don't throw them out I do sometimes throw them out okay so that should have evened it out yeah look at that and look at this hold on let me clean this little tiny table yeah I had pulled out some other things I thought I might put on it but I didn't Move my cup of coffee and these beads are going to be going everywhere. I just want to show it to you next to the journal. Let's see what you think. So, this is the journal, and this is the tassel. What do you think? You think they go well together? And of course, I'm going to have to figure out a way to attach it to the journal. I have a couple of ideas for that too. But for now, you know, it could always be clipped or whatever. And um, yeah, so that is my entry for Tassel Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching and for your patience with me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.